double smoked bacon breakfast sandwich. And then also uh, two pumpkin spice lattes. And can we get those out of the venti? Hey guys, we are gonna go to a pumpkin patch today, but we are now at a Starbucks to get some snacks and pumpkin spice latte. So we are ready for the fall trip oh yeah. day. Oh yeah. Fall trip day. I'm gonna get some pumpkins. Hey guys, we are at the pumpkin patch and Steven is grabbing a little cart so we can grab some cool pumpkins for carving and then some for like decorating outside by like the front door um, and there's some good ones here. There's a lot of people here so it's a little crowded. Are we gonna get one of these pillows? You put them around your neck, you know? I wanna get some weird ones. so far I just found this one is kind of like so perfect and look at that stem it's like so awesome and then we have a bunch another big one and then some cute little ones I got a pink and like a gray one and then got a fun little guy over here he's super funny Hey guys, we are back from the pumpkin patch. We've changed into cozy clothes. We have some spooky stuff on the TV and I had music going on, but I had to pause it. Steven is making us hot roast. Yes. It's going in there. Where is it? Ah! Carrots and onions. And it's mushrooms. gonna be so good. And we are actually going to make some pumpkin pie it's gonna be delicious we gotta get some drinks going and it's gonna be fun we might do like a little gingerbread thing but i don't know um so i think we're gonna do the pumpkin right now right yes cool so we have the pot roast going we got mashed potatoes going and Steven is about to make some appetizers, um, air fried raviolis, and I'm gonna open this bottle of bourbon. It's Brothers Bourbon. It's from um, Damon and Stefan in Vampire Diaries. Um, but yeah, I mean, I used to watch it and I was a fan. So I'm gonna open this bottle now, and then we're gonna use some of it in our pumpkin pie, but we're gonna have some drinks first. So I'm gonna make some drinks for us. I made us some drinks. Cheers. It's it's not drinks, it's just bourbon and ice. It's a drink. <laughs> Pumpkin pie. Yes. I don't have a good one. Picked up a notch. Don't take it away. About to do a Halloween gingerbread. Is this gingerbread? No, chocolate, it's chocolate, chocolate cookie cake, and it's a spooky kitty cat. This is gonna be Misha's 
So we're just prepping over here. It's gonna be really fun. And pumpkin pie is in the oven cooking. guys so here is what they did and here's our cat <laughs> Steven did the face and that's my favorite part and I love the evil ears because that's just how it is this is me trying to make a skeleton but it looks like a lizard so that's totally my bad this is <laughs> this is the final <laughs> touch there's a butthole. <laughs> and then um, front leg is Steven's. I don't, I kind of question this, but apparently it's a tough. Tough the fur. Tough the fur. The back leg is mine. It's kind of hard to see it. It looks like a robot, but it looks pretty good. I like our cat. I love it. She don't like it. She's mad. Are you mad? Hello guys, I am back. We had so much fun last night making dinner and making those pumpkin pies and it was so delicious. We actually have some leftover, so I'm so excited to have some more pumpkin pie today. And we had so much fun building that scary uh, Halloween cat um, chocolate cookie kit that we got and it turned out really good. Steven actually did really good with the face. So that was really cool and then we ended up watching the movie Quiet Place number two, which we loved. We loved the first one as well. So all around just like a really fun Halloween night. And then today I actually want to decorate our like front door area with the pumpkins that we got from the pumpkin patch yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and go downstairs and wash and clean the pumpkins so we can do some fun styling. here by our front door so I only have a wreath up here and then a fall doormat which I DIY both of them I'll link those videos in the description box if you want to check them out but uh, besides those there's nothing else out here so I definitely want to add some of those pumpkins maybe on one side or maybe both I'm not really sure because it's kind of narrow just to kind of uh, spruce it up and make it a little bit more interesting so I'm gonna go ahead and bring the pumpkins out and then see what we can do with the space okay guys so here is the assortment of pumpkins that we got from the pumpkin patch yesterday i love them all so much i love these weird ones they're so cool they're all like so different and then this one is so imperfect i love it and then the pink and the gray and then the classic pumpkin and then i have some baskets and crates here um to use them hopefully to kind of decorate this area i might bring some other stuff out um depending on how i feel about the setup but i'm gonna go ahead and get started with these ones
played around with the arrangement a couple of times, but I think I'm pretty happy with this and I don't think I'm going to add anything else because again, this is a very small area. Um, we don't really come through the store, so it's not really like blocking anything and I can like easily walk past anyways. Um, but I really like it the way it is and I want to keep it minimal. You guys know I don't like to make it too crazy. So I really like this setup and I have a few left here of the small ones. We actually have another big one. Um, so I'm going to style those on our patio. But yeah, I think that's it and I'm really, really happy with this front door fall setup.